Yo, what's the deal? What up, though? It's your boy King, man. I know it's been a while since I've been on here to talk to y'all fellas. I ain't really had too many subjects to talk about. Uh, been working out, you know what I'm saying? Going to work, doing the typical usual things. Just keeping my eye open to the news and the latest stuff I can get up. Get my, uh, get my information about, so. I know y'all been doing the same, y'all been dying to make videos. I just don't want to make a video just because, you know, I'm bored the shit out of people, so. Your boy had to take a little break, man. I want to get my input about the NBA draft, man. Um, about who I, who I want the Pistons to get. Um, I know we need a power forward, but that can be addressed to free agency. Point guard situation, as far as free agents go, that situation is a little bit different right now. So, um, it's not as much talent out there. Me, me preferably, I, I would go with Ryan Anderson. Somebody like Ryan Anderson or that type of player in free agency. But on a, um, on a note of the draft, two players that I like and that I want to see. Uh, number one, Wade Baldwin. And number two, Tyler Ewis. Um, I like I like Wade Baldwin's size. I like his size. But at the same time, what gives Tyler Ewis the nod for me is his leadership. Floor general. Got a chip on the shoulder already. You look at players like little Isaiah Thomas, man, the way he commands his team right now. And I think that would be perfect for a backup point guard for us. Um, you know, it's wishful thinking, thinking that Brandon Jennings is going to come back here. It'll be, uh, it'll be crazy if he did, but I doubt that's going to happen. We need somebody feisty. We need a floor general. We'll be out there with them, uh, their second unit, man. We need a floor general. We need somebody to be able to take over when Reggie Jackson don't want to do his thing. So, um, yeah, he is smaller, but... In this league right now, size is not size don't matter. <laughs> size don't matter in this league right now. Because if you look at Damian Lillard, you know what I'm saying? You look at Steph Curry. Uh, Steph Curry is not the smallest, smallest, but he's kind of small. Um, you look at Isaiah Thomas, man. Even look at the little stint that Ty Lawson had uh, with the Nuggets. You know, before we started declining, so. It's not always about size, man. And we're talking about a backup point guard here. We're not talking about our future at point guard. So I like Tyler Ewis a little bit better. More of a, um, he has more of a pure jump shot to me. Uh, I'm not going based off percentages, though. I'm going off an of eye test. You know what I'm saying? Whose jump shot would transfer to the NBA a little bit better? I think it's Tyler Ewis. Um, but, you know, Wade Baldwin, hands down, winning athleticism. So, you know what I'm saying? I still, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think Wade Baldwin is more of a shooting guard in the NBA than a point guard. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'll be happy with either one of them. Your boy washing dishes if y'all wonder what the fuck I'm doing. About to get ready to cook this food. But, yeah, man. Those are my two guys I want to see. I've seen a couple of um, a couple of things on Bleacher Report, you know, NBA um, uh, NBA hoop hype uh, rumors. I've seen a few things on that man about um, that Bembry cat man. We don't need that. What the hell we need with Bembry? So why would the Pistons draft him? Uh, we already got too many small forwards right now. So. Um, yeah, free agency, power forward, NBA draft, backup point guard. We got small forwards. Tobias Harris is not a power forward. He's a small forward. Um, and, we, of course, you know, me, I would prefer if Stanley Johnson plays the backup shooting guard instead of backup small forward. He needs to come in behind KCP until he proves his game enough that he can take the starting shooting guard spot. But I don't think that's going to happen because, of course, you know KCP is going to improve even more this year. 
um, he's been he's been improving every season, man, and he showed his ass in them playoffs. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see players come out a lot different this season just off of that stint in the playoffs. Even though they got swept, they got a taste of it. And a lot of them stepped up. A lot of them stepped up. KCP was one of the main ones, man. He he looked like he'd been there before. So, you know, I know people still be getting down on KCP. I really don't care. That's your opinion. Uh, you know, you like who you like. But I'm doing it off the eye test. And I'm watching this guy in tough situations. I'm watching the defense he play on certain people. I'm watching. So... I like per, I personally like KCP starting at the shooting guard, but I would like Stanley Johnson to back him up. And these is my opinions. Um, yeah, so then you have Reggie Jackson. You go ahead and draft you a backup point guard. Um, if you can, still try to pull somebody out of free agency, man. And uh, definitely go uh, for power forward in this, in this uh, free agency that's coming, man. So you got to get a power forward. Um, and we get Ryan. If we can, we can. If we can lure Ryan Anderson here, he's the perfect power forward for Andre Drummond. He's more like the Turkaloo to Dwight Howard. You see what I'm saying? Somebody, and, and he don't necessarily. Okay, if you don't want to start him, he don't got to start. Dude, been he been. I don't watch about four or five games. This guy that came off the bench and damn near put up 30 points, man. So we just need that that threat. You know, you see what K Love did. You see what I'm saying? Kevin Love played you in the post a little bit, but he was deadly behind that three-point line, too. So you got to respect both. Uh, we need that, man. That's where we need to go with Andre Drummond. Well, nobody out there respecting uh, Tobias Harris, and Tobias Harris was too small to play some of them people, man. Him and, uh, him and Marcus Morris was getting work down there. So, you know, it is what it is. But those are my picks for the draft, who I want to see the Pistons draft. Let me know who you want to see the Pistons draft. And why? Um, I'm be dropping some some mini videos, man. A um, few little topics to talk about. I'm gonna do a, uh, another video after this. If y'all see me in the same thing, yes, it is me in the same thing on the same day. But I'm about to do a, a video separately from this one about uh, about what I'm thinking about the playoffs right now. This boring ass playoffs I've been watching. It's just so fucking boring, man. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think. Leave it in the comments, man. Smash that like button for your boy, man. And if you're a newcomer, go ahead and subscribe to your mans. I give you uh, the 100% truth. I keep it straight 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and smash that, uh, that subscribe button, man. And I'll catch up with y'all catch my next video.